Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a different kind of video for you. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm looking so crazy, no makeup, um, it's dark outside. Uh, I just ordered, and well, I ordered it a couple days ago, but I just got in my Thread Up uh, DIY Denim Rescue Box. So, um, if you're not familiar with Thread Up and their rescue boxes, so ThreadUp is an online thrift store and um, I'm thinking that they're just getting so much inventory that they're not accepting for their website that they're just starting to put together these rescue boxes that um, are things that they basically have rejected and so they are selling them in boxes. You can get all kinds of boxes. You can get shoe boxes, handbag boxes, um, mixed tops, mixed clothing lots, all kinds of things. Um, they are geared towards resellers, so um, yeah, you are paying like a basically a average price per piece, and then you can, you know, hopefully turn around and resell these items and make a profit. Um, that is another thing that you probably don't know about me, since this typically is a beauty channel, um, that I have been reselling on and off really since like the early 2000s. So. Um, for the last probably 17, 18 years, I've been uh, reselling kind of part-time on and off. And um, I quit when I went to, uh, I had to go to night shift at my job for a couple years and it just made it to be almost impossible for me to uh, continue to resell. So um, I am, I've been back on days for about eight months now. So I am gonna start uh, getting back into reselling. And when I saw these boxes, I thought, oh my gosh, that's such a fun way to um, get started. So anyways, the DIY denim box is a $20 box and then you pay $5.95 shipping. So it comes out to be just right around $26. Um, and you're supposed to be getting 20 items or, um, yeah, I think right around 20 items. So anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling here and I'm just gonna jump right into these boxes. So I've got two of these huge boxes here and they are full. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, there's a whole bunch of tissue paper on top. And it looks like the first item I got is a pair of, ooh, Joe's jeans. These are Flawless the Icon Mid-Rise Skinny Ankle Jeans. These are size 27. They're a dark wash. Um, they are skinny. So yeah, these are, they're very soft. You can definitely tell they've been worn. Um, they do have a little flaw right here. So like a little pick or kind of hole type thing. But yeah, Joe's Jeans is a really good uh, brand of jeans. These are really soft and stretchy, really comfortable. So yeah, that's a good start to this box. I'm excited about those. So, um, and I was, so I was kind of working out the math with this and um, the jeans at Goodwill are like over $5, $5.25 or something. So even if you got these at the Goodwill, you could only get like four pair of jeans for what I paid for this entire box. So this is an actually a really, really good deal. I think this is the best deal that you can get with these rescue boxes. Okay, so the second pair I got here is, um, it's in denim, let's see, H&M. Boot cut, low waist, 2730 by H&M denim. So that's what these look like. They are a boot cut. They look really tiny for um, being a size 27, but they're cute. I love the wash of these. But yeah, um, so that's the second pair. Those are really cute. Okay, the third pair I have here is another, this a white. These are a size, uh, sorry, these are Joe's jeans. This is another pair of Joe's, which is exciting. I got two pairs of Joe's jeans. Um, these are a 27. These are skinny ankle jeans. So, yeah, those are cute. Definitely not the right season for them, but um, really cute nonetheless. So I'm really excited. 
about those. I'll go ahead and list them anyways. There could be people, you know, going to the islands for Christmas and maybe they want a pair of white jeans. Who knows? Okay. Uh, let's see. Fourth pair here. These are wet seal jeans. Okay, not, not so hot. Not a great brand. These are a zero short as well. So these are tiny, tiny little jeans. Um, they look like they're straight leg. Just kind of like a medium wash. Not bad. I mean, I'll list them and see, you know, see if I can make a couple dollars on them. Okay, these are express jeans. These are waist 31. These are boot cut. A light wash. Says they're size 6 short. So these seem awfully, awfully big to be a size 6. These are really big jeans. Um, they're not a super flattering style. They're really, they seem quite baggy, like the, the entire leg seems quite baggy. So, yeah, those, these ones might end up going back to the, back to the Goodwill, just, I'll probably re-donate those ones. Um, okay, the next pair we have, and the other videos that I've watched with these, um, denim DIY boxes, it, it seems like they had their, like, two or three pair of jeans wrapped in tissue, um, and in mine, they just had one big thing of tissue wrapped all over all of them, so, which I like because I'm not, you know, stuck with a ton of tissue paper that I have to throw away or that I'm constantly having to open, so this is nice. I can just kind of pull them out as I go. Okay, these are Arden B. Um, these are a size 2. So I know Arden B was a really popular brand like back in the mid-2000s. These are boot cut. Kind of a medium wash. I haven't seen an Arden B store in years, so I have no idea if that's even a popular brand anymore. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to look these up and see, see what those kind of go for. Okay, next we have Dylan and George. Um, I have never heard of this brand before. These are size 26. They're called the Alexandra Flare. So they seem like nice quality jeans though. They're low rise. They've got quite a pronounced flare at the bottom there. So yeah, they seem nice. Um, if anybody is still into that kind of very flared style, uh, those would be a nice jean. I'll have to look them up. Like I say, I've never heard of that brand before. Okay, next we've got Arizona skinny jeans. So Arizona, I believe, is sold at JCPenney. Um, okay, this is a 12 regular, so these must be children's. Yeah, in fact, these look like they might be little boys' jeans. They're cute. I love the color. They're this really cool gray color. So I've never sold kids' clothing before. They're straight leg. They're super cute. So I'll have to look those up and see how, how those do. Um, mall brands I know typically don't do the best, but um, they are kids and I, um, I'm excited to kind of see how I do with kids clothing. Okay, the next pair I have, ooh, I got a pair of Citizens of Humanity. Ooh, I'm excited. These are another pair of gray jeans. I love the color. It's a good color. It's a good gray. Um, so these are kind of like, they're low rise, but they're kind of like a relaxed kind of fit. And they are a straight leg. So let me see if I can get these kind of straightened out. So these are a straight leg. And these are uh, Citizens of Humanity. So yeah, that's, that's nice. These are, these, this was a good one. I'm glad it's horrible. These are Izod jeans. It says classic fit. Um, these are huge. I have no idea what size these are. Oh, sorry, 36 by 29. This is quite a large pair of jeans if I can get it 
in here. Oh, these are big and really not flattering. Oh, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like these are like. Can I get in your video? Homemade hemmed. Yeah. Okay. It looks like somebody hemmed them like themselves. My daughter wants to come make an appearance. So here she is. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> this is Charlotte. Okay. So that was everything in the first box, and I think I got some a, a few decent things in there. I found a couple that I might end up keeping for myself, so um, yeah, I'm excited about those. So let's jump into the second box here. Okay. I don't think you're ever going to let me be your video. Okay, the first one it looks like is a New York and Company. This is the Slim Slouch. This is a size zero. Um, these are kind of like a nice medium wash and they are straight leg. So that's what those look like. I know that New York and Company, um, I'm just gonna you're not going to make a ton of money off of New York and Company. I have had pretty good luck with oh, making, you know, few, there. Shh. I have uh, had luck with making, you know, a few dollars off of New York and Company here and there and it just depends on the piece. but. Um, I don't think I've ever tried to sell a pair of jeans, so we'll see how those go. Okay, the next pair, um, this is another brand I've never sorry heard of. Sorry about that. I just uh, sorry, here comes little one coming through, sorry. Okay, so this is another brand that I have never heard of. This is um, a brand called Level 99. These are a size 30, so these are um, kind of big. These are like paper thin. They look really, really comfortable. Definitely have some wear on them. Um, but these, those are a great pair of like spring summer pants. Those are really, really lightweight, light wash. Um, yeah, so those are, those are interesting. Almost feel like a linen pant, but like really, really soft. So, okay. Moving right along. <laughs> Silly girl. Okay, this is interesting. This is not a pair of jeans at all. This is a Chico's size zero denim, kind of like a chambray top. It's actually quite cute. It's got like, Ooh, it's, it's like, got on. yeah, it's acid it's washed great. kind of, and it's got these jewels on it, like pearls and yeah, but they're all fake pearls. They are all fake pearls. That is right, my love. Yeah, jewels and like pearls. So that's cute. That would probably, you know, that'll probably do well. Um, I know people like Chico's and there's a whole, you know, market for that and for the kind of bejeweled stuff. So, okay, moving right along. This is another pair. This is a pair of uh, Banana Republic limited edition boot cut Pudding. jeans in a size 10 short. Okay. So um, they're they're dark, so they're really dark wash. Boot cut. Nice thick material, stretchy. Let me see how stretchy. So yeah, those are those are pretty nice. It's pretty stretchy for pants. Yeah. Again, a mall brand. Sorry, my daughters. So I don't know how well those will do, but we'll see. I have six cats. Oh, okay, four. we don't have six cats. We yeah, actually, we have five. We have four. No, okay, we have the five. next pair. Okay, sweetheart. The it's next pair over. is, yep. Um, these are Big Star KCK Skinny Low Rise Fit. So I've never heard of Big Star jeans. I have no idea um, how well these do. It seems shirt. like it's green. it seems like this tag huh. though is real leather. So Why is that square on my face. Is get it off, Charlotte? Okay. It seems like this is real leather, and I think that that would mean that they're kind, you know more expensive jeans. I would imagine. I don't think a really inexpensive brand would put a real leather um, tag on there, but. They're cute. They've got really pronounced stitching on the pockets and kind of around here. 
They are a straight leg style. They've got some distressing on them here. So up there, they're kind of a light, I would say a light medium wash. Um, they're straight leg. So yeah, those are pretty cute. It's a pretty cute pair of jeans. And these are a size 27 long. So yeah, I'm excited to look those up and see what, um, see how those do. Okay, ooh, I think we have another pair of kids' jeans here. Yeah, definitely, it's got this little thing that, you know, to tighten up kids' think, jeans. I don't think that would fit me. These, no, baby, I think these are boys. These are 12 regular. These are just Faded Glory, so Walmart brand. These will probably just end up getting redonated. Okay. Next, we have, oh, this cute little... This is Authentic J Khaki Girls. This is a size large. So it's just a little denim jacket. That's super cute. Mom, That's uh, very the cute. The player's stuck in my hair. Uh-oh. Get out. Okay. There. So yeah, that's um, that's a cute little jacket. That'll probably do well. And by the way, guys, that plant in the background, it's a real plant. <laughs> yep, it is real. We saw it at the store and nobody thought it was real, but it's real. Yeah. Okay. Next, we've got, oh, and I think this is a nice brand. I've never, um, I've not ever sold anything from this brand, but this is not your daughter's jeans. Lift Tuck Technology. These are a trouser jean, and these are in a size 4. Proudly made in the USA. So these are a very dark wash. Um, Oh, that's just a piece of fuzz. Really, really good condition. These look like they maybe have never even been worn before. If so, maybe just a few times. Um, they are trouser jeans, so they do have kind of a very wide, uh, pronounced leg. And that on my face. And yeah, those are cute. Those would be nice for you know a career person or somebody that works in an office that just wants like a nice. Um, stretchy, comfortable, kind of more casual like dress pants. So those are cute. Okay, moving right along. I hope this isn't forever long because I know I've got a whole bunch of jeans here. Um, okay, these are really, really large and they don't have a size on them. They have an eight here, but I'm thinking that these are maybe an 18 and they just... Um, Here's the real plant. It's real. It's real. Okay. And um, so, yeah, I think these are like a size 18 because they're really pretty large. Um, these are like a Capri style. They're very yeah, stretchy. Capris? And sounds like, sounds kind of like Capri Sun. These are St. John's. Like Sun. So, okay. okay. Please. These are a St. John's, and um, I think St. John's is sold at JCPenney. So, yeah, there are those. Um, I have sold a few pieces of plus size clothing, so and it generally does pretty well for me. Um, so I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Okay, last few pair we're down to. Okay, these are Eddie Bauer. Okay. Eddie Bauer, and these are says specially dyed, size eight, and oh, these are a boot cut, and these are like old school. They've got this boot, this slit here. So, golly, when was that? Late '90s that they did these, did those slits. So I don't know. I wonder if there's like a year, because you know some places have years on these. Um, no, this one doesn't, but Ew, these are a size that. 8, and they're kind of a medium wash. Sorry, love. It's okay. Medium wash. Really good quality, just a, kind of an awkward style, but, um, yeah, so those are those. Last few pair here. Mm. Okay. Here's another St. John's Bay. These are a size 6. These are like a coral capri. So, yeah, these are coral. 
Capri style. Capri. Those are cute for the right person. Again, somebody might be going to the islands for Christmas. They, you know, somebody might be interested in those. We've got our Christmas tree up. We do have our Christmas tree up. Oh! Okay, these are right on trend for um, for right now. These are these are vintage. Okay, so these are Liz Claiborne Liz Sport Petite, and these are in a six petite. And these are mom jeans, mom jean shorts, I should say. So those are like high waisted, vintage. Those are definitely, and you can see this tag is totally vintage. on camera focus there we go you can see those are definitely vintage so those are cool definitely somebody might be interested in those okay and the last ones last pair is another pair of shorts and these are old navy and I think these are girls these are size 14 and girls um, and these are cute. I like them. They're kind of a Bermuda style. Nice wash. I like the kind of wash here. They're kind of like a dark medium. Stop coloring up my face. They're cute. I like these. In fact, I know there are 14 in girls, but I think those would actually fit me. And since they're completely off season, I might end up just um, hanging on to these ones. So. Anyways, guys, those are all of the jeans that I got in my Thread Up DIY Denim Rescue Box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, sorry, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.